As you advance in the security profession, you need to be aware of the classic security mistakes. Don't worry, even if we avoid the classics, there are still plenty of mistakes left for everybody. For example, new security professionals tend to believe that they can create security. We train them that way. It sounds good and it keeps them busy, but this attitude is one of the classic security traps. It usually destroys institutional security and renders the security team impotent. After a while, security professionals realize that anybody can destroy security. People are capable and clever. Your fellow employees can render insecure or ineffective any security process or technology. The security team can never make progress against the tide of the rest of the organization. Real security can only exist as a group effort by the entire organization. For reference, the top three classic security errors are usually one, believing that security is more important than the thing you are securing. This belief completely distorts the cost and benefit calculations. It distracts security and it renders us unreliable. Two, believing that security is defined by the security team. This causes us to become misguided and out of touch. And three, believing that security is created and maintained by the security team. This isolates security and it renders us ineffective. I suppose you could also add four getting sucked into an Asian land war, but hopefully we're getting tired of doing that. Another common mistake made by new security professionals is the unproductive use of fear. Frightening people into compliance is easy. It's unproductive. Fear creates short-lived, unfocused motivation and then fear passes and is replaced by long-lived contempt or hatred for the fear mongers. Fear is such an easy, convenient crutch that we all tend to forget and use it. For example, we frequently say something like, Bob made a mistake and then suffered loss. Even though this may be factually true, this approach is not productive. It focuses us on the mistakes and the loss. But mistakes are inevitable and loss is bad. We focus on those and we get despair. We create despair all around us. Despair is not productive. We and those around us need to get past mistakes and encourage productive action. Real security is achieved without fear and panic. It is better to communicate how properly managed defensive measures improve people's lives. So, it's better to tell people something like uh, Bob and Carol to Alice all were attacked in the same way three of them had effective defenses, but one did not. And then explain the various defenses, their costs and their benefits. Once your people understand, you can work together to achieve common goals. And then real security can exist. That is, we can provide meaningful assurance that we are progressing towards our most important goals.